know about Vincent van Gogh's life and also the fact that he suffered from numerous brain and mind symptoms, right? But we, we, we don't really know what exactly he had. Um, but many of us don't really know that his father was a preacher and he himself was one in his early years. How would you describe his relationship with his brain, mind and soul? Van Gogh interestingly is thought to have had epilepsy and the Harvard neurologist Kosigan has analyzed his, his paintings and one of his paintings over the ravine the strokes indicate that he probably had a seizure when he was painting it. Van Gogh had a very interesting triad of behaviors that we see in severe epilepsy that comes from the temporal lobes which are the oldest part of the brain. So he had this hyper religiosity or hyper spirituality. He had both hypo and hyper sexuality. He also was thought to be bisexual and he uh, was uh, hypergraphic not just in writing but also in painting. So there's this one period in Arles uh, when he was impoverished being supported by his brother in which he drew an enormous number of paintings and he wrote about I think 1500 or 2000 letters to his brother each the shortest of which was six pages long. Mm. So he was clearly he liked inscribing. Mm. Mm. Now the most famous uh, portrait of uh, Van Gogh is the self-portrait of the man with the bandaged ear and in that it is thought that it was a biblical injunction if thine offend thee then pluck it out and he plucked the ear out and it's the obviously he was looking in the mirror when he painted the portrait so it's the opposite ear to the one that you see in the portrait itself uh, and I think those experiences his difficulties or rather his enmeshment with religion uh, obviously came from being the son of a preacher and having started life as a preacher himself right. uh, but also he was a complex human being in so many ways um, to answer your question in this time that he was writing so many letters he also drew so many paintings yeah. and he was impoverished so clearly his pathos his profound unhappiness, his hallucinations was also linked with intense creativity in some way and so he managed to have both things express themselves at the same time and I think that's what makes Van Gogh so interesting.